Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. The H-1B, what are the requirements to be able to get an H-1B? Well, there's a lot of different things, little things that you need to do, but there's some very basic, specific items that you have to have uh, or the H-1B, even you know if you're picked, is not going to happen. First, you have to have a college degree, okay? Uh, so if if you don't have a college degree, th- there are some exceptions to that, and there's ways of getting equivalency of college degrees, but for all intents and purposes, for the basic requirements, you need a college degree, okay? That's the first basic requirement. The second is the job has to be able to use the uh, college degree, it has to be related, okay? So if you have an engineering degree, you're going to have an engineering job. If you have an accounting degree, you're going to have an accounting job. Uh, and thirdly, the the actual uh, position normally uses a college degree. Okay, a lot of times uh, what people will do is they'll try to fit the position and they'll say, yeah, we need a college degree for Um, you know, this particular position, which doesn't require a college degree in reality, and immigration will deny it based upon that. Next, the employer has to pay the prevailing wage. Now, the prevailing wage, what it really says is that it should be what a normal person in that position makes, but the reality is most of the time it's higher. Um, So, you know, with an H-1B, keep in mind that it doesn't have to be full-time. It could be part-time. So if your employer has a certain amount set aside uh, to pay you for an H-1B per hour, well, if the prevailing wage is too high, that just means work less hours, okay? Um, and that is the the few, the three basic requirements needed to get the H-1B. Again, there's a lot of little stuff, um, but if you don't have that initial big stuff in line, um, no need to even get to the other stuff, okay?